Hi, welcome Pisces. So today's reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if there's a Pisces in your life you're interested in and you want to find out more, remember roles can be reversed. So if you're dealing, if you're coming to these videos because you're dealing with a person or a situation, it could be their energy that comes up in the reading too. I want you to really see these readings as simply a bridge to your own intuition. That's really what I want to help you develop is that intuition within yourself. Um, and it can really start out quiet. So when you sit here for the reading, just go in with the intention of hearing messages through the, you know, through the energy of love and really listen to what comes up within you. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. I'd love for you to join me there if you feel called to. It's my creative space. Okay, Pisces, let's get started. So I pre-shuffled the cards, and the card that has come up at the bottom of the deck is um, basically that you're working very closely with powerful energy. This could be, you can look at this like your angels or your higher self or even like your own intuition, um, God, however you want to refer to it. It's, it's guiding you through this situation. So you are being guided. There is divine guidance that is happening for you here. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out. So taking quiet time to really try and connect with that divine guidance is, is going to be very beneficial for you. Manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. So focusing on what it is you do want to create. And I always like to leave it open to this or something better because, you know, sometimes the universe can dream an even bigger dream. So focusing on what you do want to create and also knowing that there's guidance happening, like you're being guided in some way. This this is a divine situation. I feel like there's the universe behind it here and the universe wants you to know like it is providing guidance. Take that quiet time to connect. What, however that is for you, whether that's to be quiet in nature or like just practice silence or meditate, um, there is guidance that is, and even still, like you are still being guided no matter what here. And you, uh, you are creating powerful things, I feel, with this manifestation power card that came out. What other messages here do you want Pisces to know? What are the... What are the highest messages for Pisces? Is there any more messages that you want Pisces to know? Heal away addictions. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desires. Ask for help with this healing. So this is, you know, you can pray. Uh, personally, I think that's a very powerful way for help to get help with anything that you're trying to overcome. So there, whatever it is, addictions of some kind or behaviors of some kind that are really getting in your own way. A really, good, the the key here is to get out of your own way because you have this powerful manifestation power within you. You have this guidance. So if there's, and you'll know, like it'll come up if there's something that's not good for you. A behavior or or even like you know anything that can be addictive which is so many things in life right um, heal that you're being asked to work on healing that okay let's see what came up at the bottom of the deck the king of wands this is you being action oriented you taking action um, you being warm and loving as well it's a beautiful overall energy um, it's uh, very charismatic, like this energy, you're very passionate and the, and people are really drawn to that. Um, but it, I'm feeling very much like you're taking action. You're taking action in the terms of this guidance that you're receiving and in terms of understanding, manifesting in terms of also healing any kind of addiction or behavior that's just getting in your way. You have the emperor, like this is you being in your power this is beautiful this is an extremely powerful combination the king of wands and the emperor here like you really sitting on your throne 
taking powerful action, like taking charge. I love this energy here. You're really taking charge. Life is about cycles and um, and right now there's a cycle of taking action, taking action towards something. And this is really, I feel like and this is really going to create dreams come true for you um, that required this action. And don't worry, like you, you will be getting the guidance that um, you need for taking this action. And okay, so a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. This is amazing for you. Right in the center is your card. This is you shining in your power. This is amazing when it's Pisces reading and their Pisces comes right out in the center, the moon card. But oh, surrounded by it is incredible. Other cards, the sun, the king of cups. You have strength, six of wands. Okay, so six of wands is a victory. Like you are going to have victory. Uh, it is going to be a great outcome for you and strength you have gathered so much strength through you know through your life you will have an incredible amount of strength which is why you're showing up as the emperor here um you have this amazing strength within you that you've really built maybe more than you know um and it this reading is really wanting to show that to you so the moon can be that um something is not quite revealed yet it's also a very intuitive energy i feel like it's you really getting in touch with your intuition uh which we were saying at the beginning of the reading like it's also similar to like listening to guidance it's just really taking that time to be in touch maybe silence maybe nature maybe meditation maybe like you like to go for a bike ride i'm not sure what it is for you in particular but there's something that will be revealed and the King of Cups, there's this offer of love. So you either want to offer someone your love in this big way that creates a ton of happiness with the Sun card because it's really, this love is really being illuminated and this is you, the King of Cups. So you again showing up as yourself in your power. So I feel like you could have this person if this is about love for you it will be for some of you not for everybody but this is about love for you you have this person that's like very passionate about you and you are you want to offer them your love it could also be reversed that you have somebody that really wants to offer you their love like you are their happiness and i actually feel like it goes both ways that's what i'm feeling here um but Pisces, I'm really getting because the King of Wands is on the bottom. This is about you taking action and you offering your love. And it's going to bring you so much happiness. It brings you the, the sun here. You have the strength and the confidence to do it. And you're going to have victory. Okay, if it's not about love, it could be about something that's very emotionally fulfilling. So it could be you're going after something you're passionate about. And you're going after something that's very emotionally fulfilling for you. And you have the strength to do it. And you have this victory as an outcome. I love that, Pisces. That is so incredibly beautiful. It, oh, it just makes me happy. I feel like all these happiness vibes all over. Just getting those cards for you with the moon in the center and the king of cups. Both your cards, Pisces. It's beautiful. Let's see if there's one more message that wants to come out for you. What are the highest messages for Pisces? Is there any other message of spirit that you really want Pisces to know? What will help them? Gosh, you have the strength to like heal anything too that you need to. Like that. I also feel like, you know, with that healing card and the strength, like you have the strength to overcome anything. Six of Raphael, embrace your inner child. This is really about, uh, you Pisces have this beautiful, um, connection. I feel like you have this beautiful connection to like joy and fun, like that innocent fun of a child. And it's really like asking you to bring that out. You may have, um, some friendships that bring that out in you or whatever, but it's also this rekindling. It can be a rekindling of a relationship. So if this is about love, it can be a rekindling of a relationship. Uh, 
but I really feel like you're bringing out the fun. And I love that. Okay, Pisces, I hope you got some messages that were helpful for you. I hope you have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for all that you do to help this channel grow, for the likes, the subscribing, the sharing it. It means so much to me. And thank you for the comments. I adore you guys. And I am sending you my warm wishes. I'm supporting you here energetically. I hope you have a beautiful week. I will see you again soon. Bye, Pisces.